My name is Nathan. I am from Nigeria. What I do is that um, I post things online. I post things about uh, racism and discrimination against the black people in America, in Europe, even in Africa because we have the same situation in South Africa. I see this as my mission and I believe that black people should fight for their rights for being seen as equal as white people around the world. And I'm deeply worried, you know, about the situation in America where the black people are being humiliated and sometimes or most often killed by the police. Europeans and Americans kept black people in slavery, you know, for so many years. Despite abolishing this slavery and segregation, I still see the black people as inferior, you know, around the world. And quite recently I came across an article on the CNN talking about Russian interference in American elections last year. It mentioned um, a so-called internet research agency that used uh, troll farms in Ghana and in Nigeria to run a smear campaign against Joe Biden. Now, reading through this um, article uh, on this case on CNN, I realized that the U.S. media and the U.S. intelligence related uh, this in internet research agency with African rights group emanating barriers for liberation of Africa, EBLA for short, you know. And it's really weird because uh, I know this organization very well. It's the same organization I've worked for. I'm proud of being part of this organization, you know. And I might say that uh, EBLA had no affiliations with Russia. We are completely independent. Our work has <clears throat> to do with covering news about the struggles of ordinary black people around the world. We create our own content and no one decides for us what to cover. We are we were sponsored by Open Society Fund, which will sometimes, you know, sometimes instruct us and help us with other difficult uh, tasks. What we do more, we help to promote the black uh, LGBT community and we report on numerous you know, success stories of black businessmen and entrepreneurs. And sometimes, or most often, I might say, we criticize uh, police brutality targeting the Afro-Americans and the Europeans, you know, Afro-Europeans to be precise. And to be honest, we supported uh, Joe Biden for presidency. We wrote so many posts, you know, supporting his candidacy. And i um, totally convinced that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris can help black people, you know, and uh, they can help them to reach their, uh, the prosperity and achieve equality with uh, white people. Me and my colleagues, we've done everything, you know, we've done everything possible to make sure that the white supremacist Joe, Donald Trump, sorry, Donald Trump leaves the White House forever. And since he posed a threat not only to the black people in America, but also in Africa, it was our sole duty to ensure that he was removed, you know, from the office. And um, during Trump presidency, it's very obvious that he dropped more bombs, you know, on Somalia soil than any um, other American president. So EBL uh, campaign against Trump in social media was very, very huge. We, we published thousands of posts criticizing Trump and things he did. I'm sure we have done our best to contribute to Biden's victory and Trump's removal from the office. I hope this video will prove that black struggle for their rights, the battle against racism, and defeat of Donald Trump is our merit. You know, it's, it's the success of our fight. And um, I must emphatically state that uh, UBLA is an originally African project, which played a significant role in uniting black people globally. I'm proud of what I've 
been doing for EBL, and I'm grateful uh, to everyone who worked with me. I don't see anything illegal in fighting for black people, for black people's rights, you know. And um, this right is, must be fight, must be fought, um, both in my country and countries outside here, yeah, where racism is still ongoing. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, the last part, what I would say is that you've managed to help um, Joe, uh, Joe Biden, and Joe Biden really values black lives more than Trump. And I can consider my work worth doing because we've put in someone who values uh, black lives. And I, I hope that uh, black lives will improve and racism will reduce globally.